Now, if you thought there would only be books out at the Tucson Festival of Books, you would be wrong because we also have the world's most realistic walkthrough inflatable brain as well. <laughs> yes, you heard her right, everybody. Dr. Sergio Rivero is here to tell us more about this interactive brain exhibit. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So I know we're all very curious. What does that even entail, an interactive brain exhibit? <laughs> um, think of this as a, a jumping castle made out of plastic, but it's a brain model. And uh, it's got some interactive things for everybody to go see. Kids can see it, touch it, and uh, it's an amazing exhibit. So this is going to be a little bit of education, a little bit of fun, and we're bringing this all out to the uh, Tucson Festival of Books. Yes, it is uh, education, and the way we're doing it is hiding in between something that's interesting and funny, and uh, when you walk through it, you just see the, how amazing this thing is, and uh, you know, kids love it. <laughs> Definitely. Well, and I think this is great, too, because we want to take our kids to this awesome festival, but you know, it's book after book after book, which we love, but sometimes the kids need a little brain break. Oh, I you're you welcome. That. You're welcome. So this is really perfect. So where can we find you at the festival? At the uh, middle, across from the cafeteria. Um, so in the booth uh, four, uh, 349. <laughs> And I know, of course, we're going to have the big inflatable brain, which mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm, that's a sentence I'm saying, but we're going to have that. But you guys are going to have a lot more out at your area. Yes, there's a lot of things. There's activities for kids. There's free books, face painting, games. So there's a lot of things that uh, everybody can see and can uh, participate in. Well, I love that. So we want to devote a little bit of time knowing that we're going to come visit you. And it's more than just like a jumping castle situation. It's a lot more than that. Yes. So tell us any kind of details we need to know for the festival itself. Do we need to get tickets ahead of time? Does it cost anything? No, it's actually free. Um, it starts on the 12th and the 13th. It's from 9.30 to 5.30. And uh, it's free. Everybody can go. Um, just take your time because the traffic and parking is always an issue. But once you're there, you're going to have fun. And who exactly is bringing this exhibit to the festival? Uh, we're called Center for Neuroscience, uh, but uh, we're part of a foundation called Each Brain Matters. And we're a foundation that's nonprofit, and our goal is to educate and to try and bring some resources for patients and families with neurologic conditions. Wow, so tell us, kind of dive in a little more to that topic. How are some of the ways that you are doing that? So we actually um, participate in education, for instance, in MS and Parkinson's, uh, prenatal care, uh, we have multiple activities that we do over the year, um, and we have uh, we're, our future is to start something called a brain bus, and uh, that's something that we're going to try and do later on is have um, a bus set up with all these activities for kids to participate and learn about the brain and every neurologic condition that can help them educate them. And I know the inflatable brain, as they're going through, someone's going to kind of point out, this is what makes you do this, or this part of the brain makes you do that. And I think that kind of connects things for the kids. Yes, it does, especially the, the way this is uh, an exhibit, where you can see and they have examples of tumors, of bleeds, and so it's actually a very fun exhibit. I love that. So we're definitely encouraging families to come out to the festival. It's going to be a great day in general. But why would you really say people should make the time to come visit you? Well. I think the first thing is education. Um, we're giving out free books. It's a way to promote health, promote uh, at least the foundations for someone to be interested and wanted to learn more. Um, it's a way that kids can see this and say, oh, I'm interested. I'm actually, I want to look at this a little bit more. I love that. So if we have kids maybe in our family that are looking into maybe a medical industry or a specifically neurosurgery, this is really the kind of the, the best way to introduce them to this because there's not only going to be literature and, and fun ways of learning about it, but you'll also have people on hand there to answer questions. Yes, correct. We will be there. <laughs> and of course, the center, you guys are located here um, in town? Yes, we're on River in Hacienda del Sol. And so we're, we're there, the Center for Neuroscience. We're a group of physicians, neurosurgeons, neurologists, pediatric neurologists, pain specialists, nurse practitioners. So we're a big group uh, dedicated to treatment of neurological conditions. Well, I have to tell you, this is kind of a side note, but I used to be a uh, transcriptionist for a neurosurgeon. Oh, okay. So I've seen firsthand really the amazing work that um, you guys do over there. And I think this is incredible that we're going to have an opportunity to meet you in person and learn more about what you do and the great that you do in this community. So thank you so much. Oh, thank this you. Is great. Thank you very much. I think so. We will definitely uh, stop by and see you once we're out at the Tucson Festival of Books. I'm going to remind everybody exactly where you're going to be yes. at the festival. But, Doctor, thank you so much for coming today. Thank you for having us. And those, those pictures of the inflatable brain.
brain. They look amazing. So you guys, you can visit their booth at the Tucson Festival of Books this weekend. It is booth number 234, east of the food court. You can't miss them, the big brain. For more information, call 529-5211 or log on to eachbrainmatters.org.